Hey guys, I'm doing a quick review on my Arai Corsair 5 helmet. Um, the helmet itself has a um, what they call it, a silver mirror visor on it, so that doesn't come with it. It's actually a uh, clear visor that comes with it. Um, I've had a lot of questions about my helmet, how I like it, how light it is, how it looks, different things like that, so it's just easier for me to do a review on it. If you've seen my Contour Plus 2 camera review, um, I quickly note about the mount for my Contour camera. So please ignore that. That does not come on the helmet. I put that on there um, because that's where my helmet cam goes. The eyebrow vents that you see there and there, those are on the stock clear one. Um, that's just a feature for the helmet. Um, I think the helmet in total has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I think nine or ten vents on it, so it's great for hot riding. Um, it flows air amazingly, and it fits absolutely perfect. Um, this is the, abs the absolute best helmet that I've ever owned. I've owned, you know, multiple Icons, uh, Bell. Uh, Scorpion I just this helmet is amazing it's expensive but it's absolutely worth it um, it's got the uh, chin vent it's got the eyebrow vents that will both open it has a top center vent and it has a vent on the left and on the right side as well that one's already open um, then on the back end, it has vents that you can actually open and close for the airflow going through the helmet um, on both sides. The helmet that I have is actually the Black Frost. Um, it's kind of got a matte black finish with a little bit of a metallic-y look to it. Um, I love it. it it's great. Um, one thing I will note on these helmets is changing the visors. Are a pain. it's a pain um, when you actually lift the visor open which I'll do here in a second um, there's a uh, like a switch a flip um, yeah kind of like a switch that you need to kick up on both sides and then the helmet will open all the way and you can literally pull it out and up to the top uh, I'll open it up here in a second um, yeah the fit is amazing it's really comfortable um, this is a large and it fits me perfect. Um, if you're spending this kind of money, I would really recommend looking at the sizing chart, measuring your head, and make sure it's right for you. And uh, you know, don't go out and spend the money, especially for buying it online, which is typically the best place to do it, get the best deal. Um, you don't want to get the wrong size, unless you're going to like a place like uh, Revzilla, where you can get free returns. Um, obviously, you want to try to do your best and get it right on the first time because you don't. I hate sending stuff back. You know, I, I just like having it and being able to ride with it. I'll spin the helmet around here. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it very carefully, the way I have my camera set up. And double check and make sure it's still in focus, so you can get an idea of the back end of the helmet. Again, this here, there's little tabs here you can move to where you'll be able to get the venting through the helmet to come through. Um, this rear wing here is kind of nice because it's adjustable. You can literally push down or you can adjust it up. I find when I'm in the tuck or if I'm doing any um, track days having it down is better because it creates a downforce on your head but if I'm doing highway riding it's best to have that up that way it's not trying to you know push your head down it's keeping it nice and level. Um, you can see that on the back end of the helmet, it actually has the um, name brand. It has the Corsair 5 logo. I'm going to loosen up my tripod here. Um, it says Corsair 5. It's DOT compliant. It's the Arai helmet. And there's the Corsair 5. I'll zoom back out. The, uh, it's got these side um, panels here that really help with keeping the helmet stable. Um, it's really aerodynamic. Uh, 
I was having an issue when I used to have my airframe icon um, and my girlfriend in the back she had an airframe as well when we would get on the highway the helmets would literally create a draft on each other and I could literally feel her helmet sucking my helmet around um, pushing it side to side kind of making my head shake um, with this helmet I don't have that issue it it doesn't create that kind of draft to where it'll create an issue for me um, the helmet uh, you know I think I paid right around seven for it and the visors are fairly expensive um, the visor that I have was right around a hundred so if you buy the visor take care of it the I can tell you from experience that the chrome or silver mirror finish on it scratches extremely easy um, this is actually my second silver mirror one in one season if you clean it use a microfiber cloth don't use a terry towel or anything like um, um, paper towels or newspaper or anything use a microfiber cloth because it will scratch the crap out of it I'll flip it back around here and you can take a look at it um, once I show you the inside so I'm getting up here and I'm gonna flip the helmet over on its side actually I'm gonna try to hold it like this as long as everything is still in focus so you've got your um, your strap here and it's got the red button for when you're done strapping it on you can lock it down um, your latches here you have the um, EMS tabs here so that uh, if anything were to happen it's really hard to see but there's an orange tab here on both sides that you can literally just rip on those and the, the whole neck roll will pull out of the helmet again the fit on this helmet is amazing um, it's tight when you first get it but obviously when you first get your helmets that's the way you want it the inside of the helmet has got I'm gonna adjust the camera here again has got a nose guard um, it's obviously not as big as the icons uh, but it does have a little bit of a nose guard on it that helps with the venting try to get on the eyebrow vents here um, when I showed you the um, visor and the eyebrow venting on it camera is freaking out one second here guys sorry alright I'm just gonna have to go right there um, you can see it right there that is the eyebrow vent it literally pushes the air up and into the helmet and rolls it around your your head the venting on the chin is amazing whoa <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and edit that portion out so the venting on the chin is amazing um, <laughs> um, I can literally feel it come through um, it comes in here and it goes down and actually comes out a little lower down down in here once it gets inside of the helmet but it's amazing I can literally feel the wind come through it in that portion of the helmet like I said the hel uh, the visor itself is the mirror finish and it scratches extremely easy so guys be careful if you get the mirror finish or any other of the any other um, of the visors that have the chrome finish to it so that is my review of the con uh, the Arai Corsair 5 helmet um, I really recommend it to anyone that's looking for a high-end kind of a helmet um, it's definitely worth the money um, take care of it put it in its helmet bag keep it clean um, be careful don't drop it um, so um, yeah that's it uh, let me see if I can kind of show you the unlocking tabs inside of the side panel here you can kind of see the gray unlocking tab you literally kind of have to get a screwdriver or a knife or something to get in there and knock it up and that whole thing will literally pick up and swing over um, and then the helmet it's or the visor itself will come up a little higher and then it literally pulls straight out so it's not the easiest system I've ever used but it's not too bad you get used to it changing them 
you have any questions, let me know. This is my review on the Arai Corsair 5 helmet. This particular model is the Black Frost with the silver mirror shield.